Hi, it's Jan from the mountain in a very rustic part of Italy. You know, living in Italy has given me the opportunity to do things that I know I wouldn't have been able to do if I hadn't moved here. It's given me a different mindset. The weather hasn't been very good recently and I've been very, very impatient because I need to tidy my little paved garden because it's overgrown with weeds and brambles which and they're all coming from the abandoned garden at the bottom. Finally, the weather has improved enough for me to get into my little paved garden and start cutting back those weeds and brambles. As you can see, there's very little space. It does look beautiful even like this, but I know I need to make more space. I've got my tools there. I want to clear some space around this beautiful water feature that a very dear friend gave to me recently. It's very relaxing listening to the water. I've got roses growing everywhere. Brambles coming through my rosemary. And I'm a bit loath to cut back too much of the rosemary because the bees and butterflies absolutely love it at the moment. I can't see my beautiful view so I need to chop things back. I'm loath to cut back as well these roses which are in bud so I think I'll wait until they've flowered and then I'll cut them the stem back quite severely. I would like to get the garden sorted out so I can have tea and cake out here and just enjoy the view underneath the sun. And here we are with the magic of video. You can see I've been cutting back already. The grapevine has been overgrowing. It's, it covers the garden for some shade but it goes absolutely berserk. I've managed to clear some space. So now you can see this beautiful water feature and also the little French lavender that I've got growing behind it. I've pushed the brambles back down into the abandoned garden below. I've kept most of the rosemary, I've got the brambles out of it. The rose is in bud, so I'll cut that back once it's flowered. I've worked so hard in pushing these brambles back and now you can start to see my view. I'm so pleased. And there's more air coming into my little garden. So that's the start of my work. I did want to film myself working, but my camera that I had on the tripod was out of charge. So I'm really sorry. Let's have a look along here. There's a bottle of gas. I'm waiting for the gas man to come and take that away and bring some new gas because we don't have um, piped gas here. This is a little, I call it a mini cellar. It needs tidying and clearing out. There is a fireplace and I'm hoping to be able to burn some of my cuttings in the fireplace. There's an old stove which I really do intend to clean up. An old tyre which I thought I could make a sort of planter. We'll see. But for now, my little garden is looking much better, even if there is still a lot of work to be done. A little bit later, here we are. I've got the bikes out of the little mini cellar and I'm going to put them into a bigger cellar. We've just had the washing machine taken away and we've got another one in a different part of the house so this space. Here we are, I still need to clear up these pots but I've cleared out a lot of this cellar and I did try to burn some of the cuttings but they just would not light so I don't think they were dry enough. My garden, I've cleaned up some of the cuttings that were on the floor before and it's looking rather pretty I think. Here I am on my balcony. I have bought a few plants. I actually went on instinct with some of them 
I got a bit carried away. Um, these are a few of the plants I've bought and I was hoping to be able to plant them today but the weather is looking very unreliable and I think there's a storm on the way so I'll have to wait for another day. The birds are still singing now. Well, what to do when the weather's not good enough to do the gardening? I decided to find out about a little thrift shop which is in my local town. I didn't know it was there until recently and I haven't had the chance to visit. I absolutely love this idea of a basket of sauces so you can have your mismatched tea set. There are all sorts of odds and ends of little cups and sauces and mugs, china, ceramic vases, lots of things here. What I did like about it is that it was clean and well organised and the guy that run, runs it is very helpful. Actually when I look back at the footage I'm thinking I need to pay this place another visit. The chap that runs the place was only too pleased. Some of the cupboards are locked but He's very obliging and will open up and you can have a look at anything you want to uh, and you're under no obligation to actually buy anything. Um, the only drawback I found was that the prices were quite high. I did like the fact that, because I love musical instruments, that he's got a musical instruments for sale there. But again, they were quite pricey for what they were. Um, books... Italian and English because there's uh, an English speaking community, um, quite a large one in this town. So um, the chap that runs it has acquired some books that are actually in English, but most of them as you can probably see are in Italian. These watches and bits and bobs as I call them, little pill boxes um, on display. Again the cabinet was locked. I did feel the prices were quite high because it's 160 euros for a tiny pocket watch there and I'm not an expert but I really don't think that it was worth it. At the back there is a lot of vintage audio equipment as well as old vinyl records and tapes. I was particularly interested in these posters above the door as I sell reproduction vintage posters in my Etsy shop but as he was asking from 80 to 100 euros and more for individual posters it was a pass for me. So just coming home, I wanted to have a look at the side of my house where I have actually managed to plant up some pots for summer. Now as you know in Italy we do like our coloured plants and flowers outside of the house so these in a couple of weeks will look absolutely beautiful. Just a matter of keep watering them because they'll get plenty of sun. A lovely old geranium by my door. I just love it. A nice day today so I wanted to try out a new technique with my washed raw fleece before I carded. I actually saw a film which came up on my Facebook and it was some old ladies in mountainous part of Spain who were processing their wool. And they actually shredded it like this before they carded it. Um, the wool, even when it's washed, still has grass seeds and clumpy bits of lanolin in. So by shredding it, you can break all of this up and make it even more fluffy before carding. So it was a great experiment for me to try and I have actually been 
working my washed fleece this way before carding. This wool is for my next project which you will learn about in due course. It's not for my current jumper. This isn't the wool you've just seen. This is, I'm spinning in the grease here because this is to make yarn for my current pullover that you've been following over the last few months because I ran out of the main beige color. So I'm having to quickly spin up some more to use so that I can finish it off. I do love spinning in the grease. As it's been warmer outside, it's also been warmer in my studio and I am feeling energised so I've had a bit of a practice doing a flower just need to do some finishing touches on that but my studio is feeling very inviting at the moment I mentioned before that I'd been given a water feature oh my loom I need to dust it off I need to get these panels finished as I was saying I mentioned about being given a water feature by a dear friend of mine well, we were also given a good leather sofa by the same person and a television, which all fits in with my refurnishing the studio. So I'm just doing a quick touch to the leaf. This isn't what I would call one of my proper watercolour paintings because I've just done it in my sketchbook and I haven't done it on my proper watercolour paper. So the absorbency and the texture are completely different but I just always feel that I need to do a couple of practice paintings and um, my ambition is actually, not my ambition, my goal is to do another couple of portraits in medieval costume. Um, before I start I just like to get a bit of practice I'm quite pleased with this flower. Here it is. The leaf is actually before I did the final touch, but I'm very pleased with the petals. Oh, I finally finished my jumper, but please subscribe. More details coming up in the next video about the jumper and how it is, subscribe and hit that notification bell so you'll be the first to hear about the new videos when they're out. Very much appreciate your subscriptions, it's a big help to my channel, I'm very grateful to all of you. See you next time.